Brian Burada and welcome to this hybrid meeting of Registration and Licensing Committee on Monday the 22nd of August 2022. So I'm Councillor Anthony Richards and I'll be chairing today's meeting. And just to make you aware, today's meeting will be recorded. Uh, can we all ensure uh, that our phones are switched to silent for the duration of the meeting? And, um, and also can we make sure that our, uh, we're all on mute throughout the duration and please do indicate uh, if you have any questions or if you wish to speak. Um, and you can do that by raising your electronic hand. Okay, and then agenda item two, so declarations of interest. So are there any declarations of interest? No, I can't see anywhere, see any. Uh, so um, we'll move on to agenda item three. So this is the renewal of a Hackney carriage um, uh, on agenda item three is on pages three to six of the agenda pack. And um, is here for decision. So if we can start, Mr. Chappell, would you please introduce the report? Yeah, thank you, Chair. Good morning, committee. Agenda item three. This is a, an application for the renewal of a Hackney Carriage Proprietor's Licence. Um, it's commonly referred to as a, a vehicle licence. Chair, we've um, been trying to get in touch with the, uh, the applicant most of last week uh, and again this morning. And we finally spoke to him. Um, he's actually at the airport. Uh, in Greece at the moment, so he's um, he's unable to attend uh, to to give members more information about the application. There's a couple of options available to members as a result. Um, if members feel they're able to determine this application, then we can proceed um, through the through the report. Uh, if members feel as if they're unable to to deal with the application without him being present then you have the option to defer the meeting. That's probably something we need to determine before we uh, proceed on this item. OK, thanks for that, uh, Mr. Tapo. So uh, over to members, what uh, what would you prefer as an option? So are we happy to proceed or would you prefer to defer to give the, um, the applicant that opportunity? Uh, Councillor Patterson. Yes, thank you, Chair. Um, I see the reason for um, his not applying in the in the in the time scale as being a bereavement. I don't think he actually needs to be here to tell us that he's had a bereavement unless he's got anything else. Um, I think we could proceed. OK, great. Anybody else? Any other thoughts on that? Or are we happy to proceed? Happy to proceed. There we are. Great. Um, anybody uh, to the contrary? Anybody want to indicate if they're not happy to proceed? No. OK, yeah. So therefore, um, we will proceed. OK, thank you, Chair. So this is, a, as I said, an application for the renewal of a Hackney Carriage Proprietor's Licence, uh, the applicant being a, a Mr Carl Wilkinson. Um, a proprietor's licence is, is more commonly referred to as a, a vehicle licence. Um, Members will note from the report that the applicant submitted an application for renewal on the, the 4th of August 2022, and this was just over a month after the license has expired on the 2nd of July 2022. Um, in accordance with the High Court ruling in Sandal versus Exeter City Council, a license can be renewed after it's expired. However, that ruling says that the, the applicant should have a good reason for the late renewal up to three days after the license has expired. Beyond that, the license should only be renewed where there are exceptional circumstances. Uh, members will note from the report that the applicant has provided uh, reasons for the late renewal, and that's to do with the, uh, the death of his, of his father. Members should also note um, that in September 2020, uh, the previous uh, Registration and Licensing Committee heard from Mr Wilkinson, um, and it was in relation to his company Neath Taxis. Uh, and again, it was the, it was to do with the renewal of a, a vehicle licence. 
which had come in late again, about a month late. Uh, however, during that period, period, it was it was September 2020, with the height of the pandemic, uh, a lot of vehicles were parked up uh, during that time. Um, it wasn't being used, and he had other things, and he completely and he just forgot to uh, put the application in for renewal. Um, members on that occasion also determined that there were exceptional circumstances with the COVID-19 pandemic, and they granted that that license. Um, members are now being asked today to determine this uh, application, to determine whether to grant or to refuse this application, taking into consideration uh, whether the reasons given by the applicant are exceptional. Thank you, Chair. Right, thanks for that, uh, Mr Chapel. Can I just say, um, we've had a few members join us uh, mm. throughout, so I just wanted to double check, uh, were there any declarations of uh, interest? So, uh, Councillor Lodwig, Councillor Carpenter and Councillor Thomas have have uh, joined us whilst uh, before um, or after they heard me uh, with the declarations of interest. So I just want to double check, are there any declarations of interest from the members who've just joined us? I, I don't have any, thank you. No. Tommy. No. Oh, OK, great. Fab. Me the okay, same. So, um, any um any questions then uh to uh to mr chapel on the report uh councillor Patterson. yeah thank you chair um mr chapel if this uh, license had come in on time are there any other circumstances that would have stopped it no it would it would have been approved if it had to come in on time thank you thank you chair Great, thank you. Uh, Councillor Thomas? Can I just check, did you say that he continued driving while it was in between when he should have applied for it and when he put it in? No, th th this vehicle is currently off the road. It, it's not being Sorry. used. OK. Great. Any, uh, any further questions from any members? Uh, anything from... Um, the legal officers, uh, legal officer. No chair. No. OK, and anything, uh, anything additional from anybody? No, all happy. OK, so we'll move on then to the um, next agenda item. Obviously, we'll make oh, we'll, it. Sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, chair. And um, we just need to go to the recommendation on page five, please. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. My uh, my apologies. I thought we were going to do that in uh, uh, in private. So yeah. Uh, so uh, we've got the recommendation then on uh, on page uh, five. Oh, I can see we've got some uh, hands up. Uh, Councillor Patterson. Just happy to move approval, Chair. Okay. Great. And Councillor Whitelock. Yeah, I was going to say I'd be happy to move approval, but um, one for the legal officer and the licensing officer. As this has happened in the past with this applicant, could we write to him saying any future delays and they want to be, you know, it'll be treated totally different? Because this is, yes, it's a bereavement, but it has happened in the past with him. So is there any way we can write to him and say, you know, I'm I, I'm happy for it to go through this time, but there's got to be a limit on how many times he can apply a month late. OK, Council, um, Mr Chapel. Yeah, ju just going to come back in on that. On that. Thanks, uh, Councillor Whitelock. Uh, happy to send a letter outlining his um, his duties, his responsibilities to renew on time. Um, however, just to be mindful that should an application come in the future, then we we obviously do need to to consider each application on its own merits as well. Yeah. Great. Okay. So, um, are we happy to move that the with the recommendation? Yeah. Yeah, happy to. Fab, thank you all very much. Uh, so what we'll do then <coughs> is, uh, so that um, that recommendation has been approved, and um, Mr. Chapel, you will notify the applicant. Yeah, thank you. Great, thank you. 
Okay, so we will uh, move on to the next agenda item. So agenda item four, which is urgent items, and um, I have none. And then agenda item five is uh, access to meetings. So we're now going into the private items. So access to meetings uh, that pursuant to section uh, 100A, 4 and 5 of the Local Government Act 1972, the public be excluded for the following items of business which involved the likely disclosure of exempt information as defined in paragraph 12 of part four of the schedule 12A of the above act. So uh, Nadine, can we uh, stop the recording? Yeah, I'll stop the recording now, Chair, thank you.